Hi guys, hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to show you how to add a domain to your Office 365 channel. First of all, you need a admin access, admin account to log into your admin portal. Either you can go to admin.microsoft.com or go to office.com uh, and login and click admin. It will land you to this page. Then you need to click on these lines, show all settings and domains. In here, you click on add domain and paste uh, I mean type in your domain which you have already registered and click use this domain use the first uh, selection first uh, option where you can add, enter your DNS records into your registration and it will ask you to enter this text record into your domain registration I copy by clicking this icon copy the value it's going to be a text record so I'm going to my domain registration and add record and it's going to be a text record and the value which it was giving is this and in the tenant if you if you see this at sign that means your domain name itself you can have at sign here or the domain name and time to leave is 3600 seconds that means one hour it's already selected time to leave is one hour in uh, different registration different companies might have a time to leave be entered after these records over here in the next i mean uh, on this line same line over here it's just one place so update i click update the record and press update the whole thing and click verify in the office tenant it might take a bit of time to refresh that's why it's just giving an error you can wait for a bit or you can refresh your domain registration and try again yeah it got verified so now you click on more options and select the first option which you can enter your dns records and press continue after that it will give you three more records which you need to enter into your registration first one is the max record so i'm going to copy that value add record and i'm going to select mx10 that's the priority you might not get that option like you you'll just get to select the mx as the record type and press update then i go to the next one it's a c name so i need to have the name as auto discover so add a record with the with my domain registration you need to have auto discover dot and the domain name in the end uh, in different registration is, it might be only the auto discover that you need to enter so i'm gonna copy the value over here and enter it here update then it's going to be another text text record so i'm going to copy the value go to the domain registration add record text record and the value update then i'm going to update whole thing just refresh it will take a bit of time sometimes so you can press continue it'll check with the domain registration whether everything is in online um yeah the same as earlier it'll it might give you a bit of errors if it's still refreshing you can just try in in a minute or so or just keep trying and it should go through so the domain registration uh, is applied i mean domain name is applied to my office tenant now i can press done that's pretty much it it's just gonna show you that this my domain name is the default after adding your domain to your office tenant you can assign this domain to users you go to users active users i have already added this domain to one of the users so you click on there click on the user and click on manage username and email from here you can press edit and in the drop down you can select the domain which you just registered i mean as Add it to your tenant and press done and save then it will show you here the domain is added to that i mean assigned to that user so it will have the full email name like this 
So hope this helped for you guys and uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.